go, Ollie. Do you want to come up? Come up. Yep. Come up on my lap. And you can't go up on the bed. No, you can't go on the bed. You can't go on the bed. Sorry, doggo. You're a good girl. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my channel again. I'm Coralie. My channel is called Jump With No Fear. If you haven't seen me before, I do vlogging and stuff about various things that I use in my camper van here. Today, I'm going to tell you about a bunch of things that I use that help me to be as environmentally sustainable as possible while I'm camping in my camper van. Not all of them are incredibly possible for everyone, but these are some ideas that you could uh, take from or leave if they don't suit you. And if you hang around to the end, I've got two bonus items that are not strictly camping related, but that I do use in my camper van. So hang about for those. <laughs> Hi, thanks for joining me again for another video. Today I'm going to tell you about some things that I use in my van uh, that help me to be as environmentally sustainable as possible. I've got eight, I think. Yes, eight. And I've got two things at the end. Um, so hang around for those that aren't strictly camping related, but that you might also find useful. I have my assistant here today, Alexis. There's her hand. <laughs> The first item on my list is refillable fuel. Um, I have a couple of ways of doing that. Uh, one which I don't use anymore, which is an LPB, LPG gas bottle. Alexis, my lovely assistant, has brought in my gas bottle. So I didn't ever have a big one because they're really heavy. This is a two kilo gas bottle. You can get all sorts of different sizes. Um, these are refillable. Um, you can get some that aren't refillable. Some of those are not recyclable. So if they're not recyclable, I think that's not the best way to go. So I try to always get ones that are refillable if possible, or if they're not refillable, they can be recyclable. These larger ones are refillable and you can get them refilled at all sorts of places. There's various apps and things you can find that tell you where you can refill this. Those one pound LPG propane bottles um, or 450 grams, those are not recyclable and they're not refillable. Um, I know they're incredibly convenient, which is why a lot of people use them, but um, they're not very sustainable, environmentally speaking. These are a couple of options that are a little bit more sustainable. Now, these jet boil canisters um, and probably, I would have to check, but probably some of the others that are similar with that little screw top, these can be recycled. There's a special little tool, which I forgot to dig out, this little tool is called Crunch It, and this is made by Jetboil, and it's designed to actually, um, when this is completely empty, it's designed to puncture holes around the top of it so that it's very obviously empty so that it can be recycled. So you can then put this in the recycling bin and at the recycling center, they will see that it's got holes in it, and it's definitely empty and they can recycle it. This has a little bit left in it, so it's not empty, so I can't use this thing yet. In this bottle is um, Shellite. This is what I use for my little Coleman stove. Um, it's a dual fuel one. It can use Shellite slash white gas slash Coleman gas or Coleman fuel. You can buy a big bottle, four liters. You can buy even bigger bottles. So then you can fill up these bottles. So then you can fill up your stove. Number two is for making fire. Um, don't buy a disposable lighter. Buy a refillable barbecue lighter. Right in the bottom there, you can see there's a little hole. Thank you, Alexis. And with this, I can refill this. So you're not constantly throwing away plastic because you can actually refill these. They're a little bit more expensive, but you're not gonna have to keep buying them as soon as they run out. And you're not creating all that plastic waste when you throw them away because they're empty. Number three is solar power solar power is much more sustainable because the sun is going to be there for a very long time by the time the sun's not there we're not going to be around anyway um, and we're not using it up per se it is very much a sustainable source of power S at this point solar is a lot more expensive unfortunately but it's one of those economies of scale thing the more people use solar the more the price will come down and so it'll be more affordable for everyone. It's a good option instead of generators. Um, now, solar power isn't always an option for everyone. It depends where in the world you live. You might not get enough sun. Uh, it might be rainy and cloudy all the time, or I think places in Canada, the sun is at a really weird angle for a lot of the year. And so it's hard to actually get the solar at the right angle. 
Um, it is workable, but some places it's obviously a better option than others. If you're using a generator for your power, and again, some people just need that option. Firstly, it's very noisy. Um, there are a lot quieter generators these days though, which is fantastic. It will save you money using solar instead of a generator because you are not constantly having to put more fuel into your generator. And petrol and diesel, etc., are not renewable resources. Another way you can be more sustainable while you are camping, my fourth idea is to separate your waste. Not always possible. As I said, not everyone can do this. Um, depends what you've got. If you've got a fridge, you can keep your composting waste separate and store it in the fridge. Most times what I'll do is I'll just get like an old bread bag or something. This is actually the bin that I currently use. <laughs> um, it's fancy. <laughs> Cost me a lot. Uh, so I just keep like an old bread bag or something and I use that for my rubbish waste and I'll also use maybe another old little bag um, like a veggie bag or something and I'll put my vegetable waste in that and then I'll put the vegetable waste back in my fridge. Once you've separated your waste into recyclable, uh, landfill and food waste then you can choose the appropriate bins for that waste. Um, food waste in landfill creates methane whereas food waste going into compost is actually very very helpful for the environment and for greenhouse gases and all those sort of things if you cannot find where to put your compost waste um, there are things available there's an app that is in australia at least it's called share waste um, not used terribly but i feel like the more people that use it the more usable it will be um, so if you are somewhere in a little town and you've got a compost bin that you don't mind people coming to use, you can just um, put your details on there and then anyone passing by can send you a message, say, is your compost bin available? You can specify what you want to go in there. Or you might have chickens or something and um, your chickens will love that food waste. So um, you can go with an app like that or you can look for community gardens where they would love to have compost waste in their compost bins. Now with rubbish bags, um, try not to use normal rubbish bags. Compostable or landfill biodegradable bags are becoming more and more common. It might take you a few times of trying various brands to find one which is suitable. I used some compostable bags that weren't so great. They started to um, break apart before I'd even used them and cockroaches also attached them. You got hiccups Alexis. Don't mind Alexis's hiccups. One brand that I have found that is good, I don't know if it's available everywhere, it's called Biogon. This is the brand here, Biogon. Um, I use these for uh, Ollie's dog poo bags um, and they go in the little dog poo bag dispenser and they have other size bags as well. So those have been really good. They don't fall apart um, before you are ready to use them, which is good. So the sixth thing is try to use reusable containers instead of uh, disposable containers. So don't use disposable Ziploc bags. You can get some that are reusable and washable and you can use them a few times. Um, you can also get um, like those silicon Ziploc bags. Um, one thing that I like to do is reuse disposable containers. This is incredibly handy. It's just a one kilogram hummus container. And it's a great size. I use it for all kinds of things. Um, you can use it to collect your rubbish. You could use it for your compost. I also like to reuse like bags that food came in. These have really good Ziploc tops on them. So there's a lolly bag, a uh, sushi bag. This was my LED lights. They've all got really good um, Ziploc things on them and they're actually very good quality bags and it seems like such a waste to not use them. So either use them for rubbish or I wash them out and use them to store food. Um, and then I'm reusing them many times before I can then dump them and it's not creating as much waste as you would otherwise. Number seven is reusable washcloths instead of wet wipes. These are some ideas for you. This is a, happens to be a Norwex cloth. It's a microfiber one. You can use any cloth you like. Here are some crocheted cloths that I made, which can also be used as a washcloth. Um, and this is a brand called Turtle. And um, they, I think they're called Swedish cloths and they sort of start out hard, but you wet them and they go really soft. So these are great for washing your body with. All you need to keep in mind is that it doesn't need to be a big cloth. It doesn't need to be a giant towel. You can use a tea towel if you like. And um, you just need a place to make sure you can hang it up to dry it after you're done. Number eight is toothpaste tabs. These are little tablets that are basically toothpaste inside. Um, I, they arrive 
in this little reusable tin which is great anyway but it just didn't fit in the pockets of my toiletries bag which is here so i put it in this small tin that i think was had makeup in it or something and the little tablets look like this it's sort of like dried out toothpaste you put it in your mouth you chew it up and then you sort of put it onto your toothbrush your wet toothbrush and then you brush your teeth with it and they're really great so you're not creating plastic waste by buying a tube of toothpaste if you've stuck around this long you get to see the two bonus things that are not specifically camping related but that i do use in my camper van thank you alexis <laughs> the first one is um compostable lip balm this is by a lady who makes these in australia i can't remember if she's based in melbourne or in queensland but it's called dearest lips is the brand it's a fantastic brand it works really well and um, the entire container is compostable um, so you could put it in landfill if you wanted to and it will eventually break down because it's like paper and cardboard and stuff um, and it means you're not creating plastic waste every time you buy a lip balm the last one i have is compostable dental floss it's called dental lace there's probably other brands around and it's incredibly handy so that can go in the compost so i'm not creating more plastic waste that's my entire list. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my lovely patrons. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to hit the notification bell and do the little bell thing so you get like all the notifications and you will then know when I upload another video next time. So thank you for joining me and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye from my lovely sister Alexis. <laughs>